John 3.16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. This truth will never grow old. This is the Gospel. Its simplicity a child can believe and receive. And yet the depths of this grace none can fathom or comprehend. Paul, in 1 Corinthians 15, reminds the church in Corinth of what's most important. He tells them, I want to make clear to you, brothers and sisters, the gospel I preached to you, by which you are being saved. For I passed on to you as most important what I also received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. Three simple yet profound truths here, friends. God loves, God initiates, God saves. God loves, God is love. And before the foundation of the world, he chose us in love. This is a resolute, fervent, costly love that takes action. God's love is my life for yours. Christ the God-man emptied himself and became obedient to death on a cross to pay the penalty for our sin. All for love. Love for the Father and love for those the Father called him to rescue. God initiates. We didn't find God, rather God found us. While we were dead in sin, sinners loving the darkness, Christ died for us. We love because God first loved us. God saves. Without Christ, we are hopeless. But God who is rich in mercy saved us, forgave us, and gives us new life. The Gospel declares that God welcomes sinners. As Christ cried from the cross, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they do. The Gospel is a theology of weakness and welcome. The weak are welcome.